What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have our boxes for Scarlet and Violet have come in. Uh, we're lucky enough to get it, let's see, it's Wednesday, so kind of like two days early. Uh, so very stoked about this. This box is going to be for myself. Uh, this is probably going to be the only box I open for myself, and we may have some uh, Patreon breaks in the near future. But um, yeah, let's get into a new era of Pokemon, the Scarlet and Violet sets. Uh, I feel like I'm I'm optimistic about this new era coming up. Uh, this set specifically, I feel like, I don't know, I'm a little underwhelmed. Um, a quick look at TCG Player, it's, you know, it's a like a waifu Miriam. That is the big, wow, I did not cut this all the way, is the big pole, which, you know, sure, but can't say I'm super excited. Like the, no really cool Pokemon, like if we compare it to Sword and Shield base, uh, I don't know, the... I feel like the V Max Snorlax was kind of like not era defining, but it was just very unique, a new something new for this new era of Pokemon. Oh, this came out weird, but we'll see how we do. Like the uh, new, I'm not sure if legendary is the right word, but you know, the Mirrodin and was it Coridon? Um, they're cool, but uh, nothing too, too crazy. And in fact, like as I was playing through the game, I think when I finally got. Uh, for mine was Miraiden, and uh, I thought it was so weird that I couldn't, had to like, get off him. <laughs> I couldn't use him in bike mode and as a Pokemon until I got like a second copy. And it just felt like a very unnecessary complication of the mechanics. Uh, these silver borders, it will take time for me to get used to. Wait a minute, what the? So we got the, oh, okay. So it goes the commons, uncommons, then the reverse, and then Two reverse. Okay, we got an Iron Tread. <laughs> I'm very confused. Iron Tread EX. So it's the energy code card energy hits. All right, so there's kind of like no pack trick, which is nice. Um, I feel like the card, the stock feels kind of weird. Uh, the hollow pattern. Yeah, this, this, you know, it's e this new EX air, and it feels like the art style feels very reminiscent of EX air, actually. Um, I'm curious to, oh, I, I highly doubt it, but one of the things I liked about the, um, I'm getting myself confused, EX, uh, XY, but a while back they had much more texturing to cards. Oh, I do like this pack of art. So they do have the, the Terra, Terra, Terra something, Terra Lies or something. The packs do feel very different. So, uh, the stock feels a little different. Obviously the borders are different. And um, yeah, new era Pokemon things things feel different. And whoa, okay, we got a gold rare right off the bat. A Maridan EX. All right, so this is not the best of this. Um, wait a minute. Okay, I am. Is this like a Galarian Gallery? No, it's not a Gallery card. Okay, so it seems like there's like two. Is it like three slots now that you can get hits in? Where there's could be double reverse. Uh, let's just take a quick look at centering. Um, pretty good, I think. We'll put this in a penny sleeve. Take a closer look at this after. So this this opening is starting off really strong. Let's take a quick look at the ability. Um, tandem unit. Once in your turn, you may search your deck for up to two basic en lightning energy and put them onto your bench. Po electric Pokemon. Okay. And then we got the... Oh, wow. That's a fire pack. Kryden and Maryden, one of them, the gold variety. Uh, there are alt arts, which as of right now are a little bit more expensive. But obviously pre ordered pricings don't mean too much. And um, yeah, obviously I haven't been keeping too up to date with the, the new set stuff, but like, I don't know, the, the double, is it, may, I wonder if it's like a guaranteed reverse slot and then <laughs> wiggle it. Um, then maybe you, obviously you can get two hits. If that's going to be a permanent change, that is really cool. All right, so reverse, guaranteed reverse, I'm guessing, into second. Okay, so this is actually a rare. I wonder if that's coincidence. We'll keep track of it. So then maybe rare slots. Oh, oh my God, what is this? All right, so so far the last card has been a ultra rare or better. Now we got Penny. Um, I feel like Penny was kind of weird. <laughs> um. She was okay, I guess. I don't know, I did like the, what was it, Nimona? I did like her character. Penny was 
Um, just okay. But uh, I don't know if she's considered like a way for something. I don't even know if there's a Nimone in this set. I think it would be weird if it wasn't. But let's just take a look. Put one of your basic Pokemon and all of his attached cards into your hand. Okay. I feel like there used to be... What was it? Ace of Roller or something? Did something similar to that? The glue feels very different in these sets. So I don't know if it's a thing. If a God Box is a thing where you get a hit in every pack. But so far, we're four packs in, four hits. One of them had... Oh, wait, three packs? Because one had a double hit. This could be an insane opening Poke Gears back. Alright. Nope, there's not it. There's the Miriam. I guess we're looking for the full art ver version. Gr Grivard. And... Okay, so this one's not always a rare. Toxtricity. I do like the... Um, this one, the art. I don't know how to describe it, but the art does something different. And... Alright, so no, no. Not like a God Box. But this one is a Hollow. So what are the chances you get like a Reverse? Reverse Common or Rare? And then a Hollow? Yeah, the silver border, so far I'm not crazy about it, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. It does just feel out of the, straight out of the pack, like, hmm, this feels like the, um, the old championship cards. I'm, like, primary Delta being there's no signature. Uh, but, like, this one, for example, is like, oh, that, was that? If, you know, uh, if you showed me this a year ago, that would be my first instinct. Would that be, oh, where's the signature? Okay, Crow Gunk. This art kind of looks familiar. Poke Gear into. All right, so this one maybe is a guaranteed hollow, which is, you know, to me, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, I feel like there are very, very few like cards that are like the hollow level that I'm looking for. Uh, I feel like the last time was was like Boss's Orders the from Rebel Clash. Was that a hollow? Maybe that was like the last time, but that was more of like a competitive thing than from a collector's. Spirit Tube looks very familiar, but I suppose there's not too much you can do with that art, with that Pokemon. All right, Flittle into Grivard into Miraiden. All right, we're going to get a lot of these. I don't know what to call this. They're not the Reptile Bikes. Yeah, obviously those, again, I'm not sure if Legendary is the right word, but, um, you know, the if it's fair to compare them with, like, Zacian Zamazenta, but... Um, I'm wondering if they'll follow like a similar trend where they're kind of cool, but as far as like collectability, they have not really hit their stride. In fact, the exact opposite where there are so many different versions of a lot of them, the same artwork where, you know, from a collectability standpoint, not much there. Arvin, that was kind of weird. And Indeedee. Okay, so I don't know how many hits you typically get per box. We'll probably start speeding up, but... um. Hope we didn't <laughs> put everything front loaded. Uh, as always, I prefer it to be that way. So there's always chance you get like a really good box. Stojourner. King Gambit. All right, it was like B sharp or something. Is that like a new evolution. All right, where's like the um, the new starters? I'm not sure if they're just like. Uh... Actually, have we seen the? The base versions, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, a Oink Oinkalone, <laughs> ooh, a Arma Rouge, Arma Rouge, I can't really tell what I'm looking at, like obviously the Pokemon on the right, um, but hey, very cool, Professor's Research, I'm still confused by this second slot, um, because it's still the same set, two or three, or I guess, I don't know, because we picked up this one from that slot as well. All right. You know, one thing I will say, a lot of times, um, the first wave boxes always have horrendous centering, centering, and so far, things feel pretty good. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing in the very beginning of the video. So, I did get a PS return back, but it was only six slabs. Uh, six graded packs, so I'll just do those at the end. Definitely not enough to warrant some video. Uh, but our first pack submission, uh, a couple for the patrons and a handful for me. So pretty cool stuff there. Uh, the the slab itself, very cool, very thick. I, I wonder if they changed it recently. Um, but yeah, so we'll get to that later. A Growlithe, I kind of like, you know, I do like the new reverse style uh, where I don't know, just that the fact that it's a little lighter, just a different color. Maybe it's for all the cards. 
uh, but the reverses feel a little bit better. If how impactful is that? Maybe not at all. But um, hey, well, let's let's recognize the improvements. All right, so I kind of or so we do. Here's the starters. I do want to speed up, but I feel like if I just kind of like fan the cards out, we'll see if there's a hit right away. Lucario, Beach Court, another Maridan. So these guys aren't too hard to get so far. We got two of the Maridans, one of the. It's Coridan, right? Coridan. I do like this, um, kind of like how it's slightly coming out. The art is, you know, not fully within the borders. And I felt like, you know, slowly that evolved into full arts and alt arts and that kind of stuff. I don't know how to describe it, but the the glue of the packs. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, my concern is if I go like this, you can kind of see. Um, although maybe, you know, maybe the way that the, the new border is, maybe it won't be as obvious if like a hollow. Okay, so the hollow has that kind of border. But actually, it is shinier than like the alt art, so. I suppose I could just do a little pack trick just to pull the top three up to the front, but are we even saving time? We just go like that. All right, I suppose it's a little bit better. Okay, there's the first uh, one of the starters, the evolution, stage two. All right, so we didn't do that exactly right. <laughs> there's nothing in that pack. Um, is this a set? I know the, I did see a TCA opened, um, one of the Japanese boxes and they caught like, they got the magic cart. The alt art, I'm not sure if that's in this set. Energy retrieval, crushing hammer into a cloth. Some kind of crab. All right, almost halfway through the box. Let's speed up. I'm not sure what the best way to do that is without really spoiling it. So let's do four. All right, Katie. Caddy, Fusel, into an Arcanine EX. All right, is EX like just the, the Terraform? I'm not sure if it was always there for the old one, but I do like the look of that Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine was always a cool Pokemon. Like, I'm sure he was high up, probably not on the top of many people's lists, but um, it's always a solid looking Pokemon. Just the, the Fire Dog. But probably, you know, it did get outclassed by, you know, just other, like, legendary Pokemon and stuff like that as far as collectability goes. All right, Meditate, Staraptor, and Pummet. Yeah, I feel like that uh, additional reversal <laughs> really caught me off guard in the beginning. And, uh, I mean, no reason to complain about it, but... Uh, Curious why they did it. Actually, and, and there definitely is an additional slot. You know, kind of like when we have those um, gallery cards uh, where you can get double hit. That does seem to be the case. So from that respect, I really like the additional reverse slot um, just because for that potential. Mastiff. Is there any difference? I feel like, oh, maybe it's just the, the type Plefki. And actually, I'm not sure if we, if you can get like just in the second slot, but not the third, or if it's only you get in the second, if you have something in the third, let's get another good pack just to confirm spider squirrel and meow scarda. That's the one I had. Um, and I did want to just like via trade or something, get all the starters, but, um, didn't really have anyone to trade with and don't have like the online thing so i ended up with just that the cat one go goats okay toxicroak ex so i do feel like the hit count is pretty good i thought the um for some reason why did i think this code card stopped with uh crown zenith All right, there must be a Gyarados in the set, right? I would presume there are starter hits beyond just regular hollow. I forgot to do a trick. Ooh, oh. Actually, I can't. all right, I can't tell from like the sides if there's a hit or something, so maybe we can just do that here. This is a cool looking Pokemon. A little off center. Another spider, sad old spider, into a Halucha. 
All right, so what is your opinion of this new set, of this new era? Everything from the new Pokemon, the new borders and such. This additional reverse slot. Okay, our first um, full art. Not our first texture card, but uh, first full art. Uh, this is like, yeah, the Metal Donovan. This, I'm curious how this will play out and how well received, but like just from the game, was it they're like coming from the future or something like these robot pokemon i don't know i felt like all of a sudden this turned into uh, some kind of like sci-fi movie and it felt kind of weird for a pokemon game but we'll see how how it plays out over time but yeah for me uh borders are weird i'm sure we'll get used to it um i'm not even i I'm trying to remember, do they have Rainbow Rare? Or I feel like I know Rainbow Rare is being phased out. If it happened already, obviously we got a gold one. Uh, I do like, I'm not crazy about gold cards, but uh, I like them better than rainbows. Uh, so that's officially done. Happy about that. Then we have this one already. Which one are we missing? Was it the fire, like the alligator? All right, the little duck. Who's your favorite starter? I, I got the cat. Um, the duck is kind of cute. The, I feel like they're all kind of cute. <laughs> this touch trio thing is weird. All right, yeah, so I would... Look at this bird. Oh, I thought he had like a top adder or something. Don't remember that Pokemon from the game. Squawk Squawkabilly. Spurigito into a Karabia. But yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm into the new sets. This set does seem a little underwhelming. Uh, and I think I probably felt that way for Sword and Shield uh, base or similar. Where it was good, but nothing too crazy. And But I, I also wonder if that's kind of like just how it works you know this is just to kind of like the first episode of a new series of a show it's kind of just like set the scene um and just to get excited for stuff to come a guard of art this is the alt or the guard of our alt art that is the one i want i've always been a fan of guard of our like i think of it like yeah there's the meriden karaiden one i would definitely prefer the guard of war and Maybe there's only so many ways to draw Gardevoir, but this looks so familiar. I want to say Steam Siege. There's this, if there's a Gardevoir EX that looks, this pose just looks so familiar. And I'm never a fan of, you know, where the art is reused. Again, I know sometimes there's not much you can do with these, <laughs> these Pokemon. Um, that just looks so familiar. Raiden, I wonder if, I don't know how into people are for reverse sets. Maybe got easier than ever. Another bike Pokemon. Okay, so I'm actually not sure what to consider a secret rare because I think all the alt arts are secret rares. Oh, is there two different professors research? Sada and the other guy? The guy that was like, uh, spoilers, he was like a robot or something <laughs> he was like one of the guy's dads Ooh, okay we got an alt art that's the there's a spoiler i didn't want to do penny put one point wait, wait, there. all right mabo stiff mm, i mean nothing crazy is it cried in but the art is okay but for a pokemon that's not not the most exciting pokemon he's like so like dreary I am a fan of the centering. Still strong centering. I think of all the hits, maybe there was just like one that I just right off the bat noticed the centering wasn't great. Like I think this one is an example of that. All right, Tropius. Magnet. Ooh, I like that one. I feel like this could be, you know, make the art a little bit bigger and then boom, you got a cool art, art alt art right there. And okay, there's the crocodile, the final big starter. It does seem like maybe the... Actually, what's the next set? The next set is called like Palidia, Palidia, Paldia Evolve. So maybe that's when they start using the starters to have, you know, ultra rares and stuff like that. Palmet. 
Neil Scarada to an Oh, I don't think I saw him in the game. Annihilate. Whoa, that's that's pretty cool. So Primate gets an evolution. That guy looks like it could be like some kind of dark Pokemon. He looks like a demon Pokemon or something. Alright, three packs remaining. Yeah, hit count does seem to be quite high. Um I feel like not as fun to open as like Crown Zenith. Um but uh, yeah, definitely was a good experience. Uh maybe that that's definitely not a fair comparison. Um, but I didn't open much <laughs> Silver Tempest. I think I opened like two packs or something. All right, last two packs. Let's see if we get one more hit. And I think Ultra Rare, I guess I can consider it the, um, like our first pack, the Gold Meraden, or first or second pack. We got a Slowbro. Okay, this is like another one that could easily be turned into an Alt Art. I really like that. All right, last pack. So yeah. Oh, then we got the PSA return, but yeah, if, if you're just here for the pack opening, uh, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Shout out to all the patrons, and um, yeah, maybe we'll have a break for one of them. All right, here we go. I don't even know what to... Is this a bug? <laughs> Some sort of, Ooh, oh yeah, they got like a new tentacruel. This is weird. Uh, I kind of like the look of it, though. And nothing. Oh, there's that... Um. Okay, so this is the alt art version. Okay, so he's like a like a, one of the soldier Pokemon or something. I still can't tell exactly what kind of Pokemon I'm looking at. But all right, so actually, let's just do a quick recap of the hits in no particular order. Actually, let's just do a count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's quite good, quite good. Um, don't feel like we got any home runs. I'm curious to see how that gold one will do. The Amirage, Koraiden EX, Mavistef Alt Arts. Uh, Gardevoir EX, a one full art variety, Toxicroak EX, Arcanine EX, I do like this. I don't know, some of them don't seem like they're terrestrialized or whatever. Maraiden EX, Penny, okay, this is probably a good hit. And there's the big one. Um, so they're all like above the count, above 198, so. But I just consider this a full art supporter. I consider this could be a secret rare, who knows exactly. Um, so you two alt arts, one full art Pokemon, one full art supporter, and one gold card. I'm going to call that a successful opening. And now on to the PSA returns. This is our first time sending off packs. And for my man Ty, long-term patron, uh, he sent in some Snorlax. If you haven't seen his PSA returns, a couple of videos back. Um, big fan of Snorlax he is, and uh, I think that's the... The coolest way to go about your collection is not just about what is expensive, it's what you enjoy, what you like, which Pokemon are your favorite, and going after that, even when they're not the Charizard or whatever. So he sent off the Snorlax from Sword and Shield base. Unfortunately, this one only got the 9, and I'm not going to be able to like go in depth, but I feel like I do not really understand the criteria for this grading. But we did get 110 in the team up, team up pack with Eevee, and look at this slab, like that is thick slab uh, I really like it I'm pretty sure it was different over time I don't know how many different iterations but I knew in the beginning they were folded which I'm not a fan of so this slab style seems very high quality in my opinion all right now we're on to mine some went through through all my old packs and found some that were pretty good condition so starting with double crisis we just got a near mint to mint eight with Kyogre and don't know who that is but, um, yeah, I honestly don't know what the deductions are, or reductions. But, uh, you know, for me, this is just my first stab at it. Um, I can't say that these packs were in pristine condition. They are kind of just in, like, a box. I bought them as, like, a collection. And, um, so definitely I'm no have no reservations or no kind of like, oh, this deserves better, especially when I don't understand the grading. So, yeah, Dragon's Exalted from Black... Uh, black and white from 2012. So we're going in kind of like uh, reverse chron chronological order for mine. Then we're going back to 2010. Heart Gold Soul Silver, Soul Silver with the Raikou. Um, it just unleashed. Very cool. And the last one, it is the OG. Not the completely OG, but the base set. It is just unlimited, but it is 
the Charizard pack art. I think this might be the last one I had. I had, at one point I bought a collection that consisted of three base set packs. Two of them were actually heavy, so I opened them. I didn't do it on camera, which I very much regret, but it pulled like a Blastoise and Raichu. So this one was the light one, um, and it was the Charizard, so that worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, happy with the eight. Again, these were not like in any kind of protection beyond just being in some kind of like storage box, uh, bouncing around in there. So um, yeah, happy to add some pack slabs to the collection and uh yeah had enjoyed the new the new set so far um yeah so that's gonna do it for me today let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below thanks for watching i'm on a turtle i'll catch y'all next time peace